Um, well, so it's it is a it is it's a computer that's distinctly different from our classical computers. So it's not going to replace your 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 mobile phone, your desktop. It's going to be working in, in you know in parallel with those things. This is the quantum processor. Right here. How many qubits in there? Uh, looks like an order around fifty-four qubits. A zero or one and a quantum bit can be both zero and one at the same time if you have two quantum bits then there are four possible states that you can put in superposition with three qubits it's eight four qubits is 16 but grows exponentially this is a computer that speaks the language of nature Right. Quantum mechanics is one of the best theories that we have to date that explains nature. And if we want to go out and figure out these really challenging problems to help save our planet and things like climate change, then having a computer that can do exactly that, I'd want that in my tool belt. When we demonstrate that we can make a logical qubit, right, and we can actually do logical operations between two logical qubits, that is basically the transistor moment for quantum computing. So that, that's what we're working on today. That is like our, our effort that we think in the next couple of years that we would have uh, a logical qubit.